Java, creating and deleting directories. Let's talk about how we create folders or directories in Java. And it's really quite a simple uh, process, basically two lines of code. So let's, let me walk you through the steps on that. So our goal for this demonstration here is to create this folder on the C drive. And I do want to point out here that since we're in a string, we have the two backslashes, okay? Realizing that the first slash is the escape character, and in order to actually recognize that slash, we need to follow by a slash. So the two uh, give us the one. Okay, and we're storing that into a string variable, and I have this set up as a global variable. Now I like to demonstrate my stuff in here in functions, so I wrote my own little function called um, IO create directory. Okay, do you have to put it in a function to use these commands? No, you don't. So you can put them anywhere that's appropriate in your program. All right, so let's go up to that. Let's go up to that uh, function up there. So here's my function, and we basically need to do two things to use um, the functions or the methods to create a directory. So the first is on this: is we have to define a path. So we're going to actually take the string location and we're going to use this path.get okay and store it into an x path okay we can call this anything we want this is your name you can name that anything you want but we're defining a path and the reason why they do that is that we have windows we have linux okay and we have some other operating systems out there okay and they use different file systems so the path will allow us to deal with those different file systems in a correct manner now once the path is defined, we simply come down here and we use files.create directory and that creates the path. So or creates the folder. So here's the X path that we defined up here. Okay, and we're using that right there. Okay. Files create directory. That's it. Now there's one thing uh, I want to point out to you. If you just use this line of code by itself, it's going to uh, give you errors when it compiles. Reason for that is Java requires it to be re wrapped in a try and catch statement. So you must uh, wrap that in a try and catch. That way, if for some reason it fails, you're not going to crash the program. Now you may be asking, hey, is there a way to check to see if that file exists without actually trying to create the directory? And yes, there is. So basically what we can do is this. We can set up a Boolean value, a Boolean variable, so I've got a boolean variable I've set up here called check directory. Okay, you can call this anything you want, but it has to be a boolean. And then once the path is set, we can actually come down here and use um, files exist. Okay, so we're going to use files exist and put in our xpath, and that's going to return true or false. And I've set up a little demonstration here uh, using an if statement. So if the file exists that's going to be true and then the if statement will run and it'll basically point out uh, print out a little line that says directory already exists and then we use the return to kick us out of the function so that's how you can create a directory in Java you basically have to define the path and then use that path in the files create directory now let's look at uh, how we can actually delete a, a directory or file in Java so I wrote another little function to show that. Okay, once again, do you have to put it in a function? No, you don't. You can put it in any place that's uh, appropriate for your code. Okay, so we're using the, ex look here, it's the exact same as thing that we did here uh, for the create directory. I'm defining it in its own variable here called xpath. So this is the path. This is what we're going to call it. Okay, but this is the exact same thing that we saw in create directory. And then once we have the path, we simply come down here and use files.delete xpath. And that will delete our folder or file. Once again, Java requires it to be wrapped in a try and catch statement. So that way, if, if you have any errors on that, it will not crash the program. I do want to point one thing out here. If you are going to delete a folder in order to use this uh, command here, that folder, it must be empty okay so if you're going to use that to delete a folder okay that folder must be empty okay
So that's how you can create and delete uh, folders in Java.